In this video on Village Attacks, we'll be learning more about monsters and villagers. Players in Village Attacks will each take on the role of a monster. This is the Lich Monster dashboard. Each monster has a type which is listed next to its name and there are five types. Undead, Mythic, Cursed, Arcane, and Demon. This health circle indicates how much damage a monster may take before it's slain. Across the way is another circle in green, which is experience. The Lich needs 5 experience points in order to level up and gain or improve abilities. This defense area is where retaliation and defense results will be placed in order to defend against or counter incoming attacks. This reserve area is where monsters may store desirable dice results for later rounds. This movement area is where players may place any dice result except for villager. One dice placed moves a monster a single zone. This is where abilities are placed. Each monster has three abilities at their disposal, but only one is available at the beginning of the game. Each ability also has a basic and an advanced version. Soul Arrow, for example, allows the Lich to target in any zone with his first ranged attack. If an ability requires an expenditure of a dice, it will be listed here. Some abilities will have a range listed in this corner. If no range is displayed, then it has a range of zero, or it may be irrelevant to the ability. This is a line of sight symbol. If this appears on an ability, the direct line of sight is not required with the monster's chosen target. Finally, there are three monster roles, Guardians, Decimators, and Supports. Guardians have large pools of health and tend to slow advance of villagers. Decimators are the most powerful type, good at dealing damage but are vulnerable to attack. Supports are more versatile and have a range of abilities. Now, let's take a quick look at villager types. First, Peasants. These are weak and stupid but vast. Each has one health, one attack, and zero range. They each move a single zone. Hunters are more dangerous than villagers, as they have one health, one attack, and one range, allowing them to attack from an adjacent zone. They also move a single zone. Town heroes are those adventurers who have come a long way to see your downfall. They each have unique stats and abilities, which will be gone over in a future video. Each town hero has a type, indicated on their token, which means they deal one additional damage to that specific monster type. Hunters are randomly assigned a type when they spawn, so they will score one additional damage against that monster type. In the next video, we'll be going over the monster phase, and after that, the villager phase. Thanks for watching.